Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing two healthy ice cream recipes made with easily available ingredients. The ice creams are made without dairy milk, whipping cream, eggs, condensed milk, sugar or corn flour. Super healthy ice creams which you can include in your weight loss diet. So let's get started with the recipes. I'm using 500 grams of ripe banana. Note that the bananas should not be very ripe. It should be ripe but firm. Now slice the bananas into a container and keep it in the freezer, preferably 6 to 8 hours. The next day or once the bananas are frozen, I'm soaking 15 cashew nuts for about 10 minutes. Instead of cashew nuts, you can also use soaked and peeled almonds. While the cashew nuts are soaking, I removed the frozen bananas from the freezer. And after 10 minutes, add the cashew nuts into a blender. Add in 1 third cup water, half teaspoon vanilla essence and blend this really well. So I am making cashew milk by blending this well. If you have cashew milk, almond milk or any plant based milk of your choice, you can skip this process and proceed to the next step. Ok now the cashew milk is ready. Now it is the cashew milk which is the secret ingredient that makes the ice cream super creamy. So do not skip using any plant based milk of your choice. It can be either almond milk or even coconut milk. Any source of plant based milk is a must in this recipe to help make the chocolate ice cream creamy and thick. Now into the cashew milk add in 1 fourth cup cocoa powder. Now if you have raw cacao powder you can use it. Even though the bananas has some sweetness because we are adding cocoa powder we need to add little extra sweetener. So for natural sweetness I am adding in 4 dates. Make sure the dates are soft and if the dates you are using is not soft, soak it for about 5 to 10 minutes before blending. Now blend all this really well. Once blended, add in the frozen bananas. Blend it for about 30 to 40 seconds. Then open the lid, scrape the sides and mix lightly with the spatula and again blend it for 30 seconds. Again stir with the spatula and blend again. Repeat this 2-3 to three times or until you get a soft smooth consistency. Now to blend this I am using my mixi jar which I use to grind rice for dosha and idli. You can find the link to my mixi jar in the description box below. Pour the ice cream mix into a tray and level the top. I am sprinkling in some chopped cashew nuts. You can top it with the chocolate chips if you prefer. Cover and freeze for 6 to 8 hours or overnight. And this is how the ice cream looks once frozen. See how creamy the ice cream is. And it has the texture of store bought ice cream. And the best part is it is dairy free and vegan. No sugar, condensed milk, eggs or corn flour. Just before serving I sprinkled some chopped cashew nuts and some raw cacao nibs for added flavor and crunch. You can use your favorite toppings when you are serving. You can also serve each scoop in a corn. And Let me show you the texture of the ice cream again. Hard to believe that there is no condensed milk or sugar or milk, right? Super healthy and tasty and guilt free ice cream for the whole family. I have soaked overnight about 20 almonds and I'm peeling the skin. Instead of almonds, you can use soaked cashew nuts, which is what I used for the chocolate ice cream. If using cashew nuts, you may need to soak only for 10 minutes. Once the almonds are peeled into a blender, add in half cup water, the soaked and peeled almonds, half teaspoon vanilla essence and blend all this really well to make fresh homemade almond milk. Now if you have plant based milk at home, you can skip this process and proceed to the next step. For natural sweetness, I am adding in 3 dates. Make sure you use really soft dates. If not, you may need to soak them for some time before blending. I have already sliced 3 medium sized ripe bananas and I have freezed them for about 8 hours. You can also freeze them overnight. Now into the almond milk, add in the 3 frozen bananas. It's very important that there is some liquid in the blender. The liquid will help the frozen bananas to blend well. 
I'm using my mixi jar which I normally use to grind dosha and idli to make this. Blend this for 30 to 40 seconds then open the lid and with a spatula mix well and again blend for another 30 to 40 seconds. Repeat this process 2 to 3 times or until the mix is creamy and thick. It is very important that before adding the banana there should be some liquid in the blender. Only then the bananas will get nicely blended to a creamy consistency. Once the mix is creamy and has blended well, pour it into a tray. After adding half of the mix, I sprinkled a tablespoon of dairy free chocolate chips. You can use chopped dark chocolate instead or even any nuts of your choice. Pour in the rest of the mix and level the top with a spatula and again sprinkle some chocolate chips. Adding chocolate chips is entirely optional. You can totally omit it if you don't prefer. Cover and freeze for about 7 to 8 hours or overnight. Once the ice cream is ready, serve and enjoy them. See how creamy the ice cream is? A healthy ice cream for the whole family. Let me show you a close up of the texture of the ice cream. So creamy and healthy. So guys do try these healthy ice cream recipes and let me know how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time take care. Bye bye.